this looks like amala but what if i told you this is not amala this is wheat flour swallow and i'll be enjoying it with my quick nigerian stew and a little bit of okra on the side now let me start cooking the first thing i'll do is to add few cups of wheat flour into a bowl and then i'll add water i'll start mixing this until i get the consistency that i want make sure you watch this mixing part to the end to see the consistency that you need to have in order to make a very nice lump free wheat swallow with pure wheat yes i said pure wheat i blended the wheat seed myself so this wheat flour does not have all the preservatives and acticaking agents that most wheat flours that are sold commercially have and trust me this is the best way to ensure that you're eating healthy food Make sure you also watch this mixing part to the end because I will show you a video of the wheat seeds before I blended them to this flour that I'm mixing. As you must have noticed, I've been gradually adding water to this wheat flour. Yes, this is necessary because I don't want any lump to be in this paste. Honestly, the beauty of wheat swallow is ensuring that it doesn't have any lump and that process starts right now. As I was saying, or as I always say, this is a Nigerian food channel. So if you're interested in Nigerian dishes and how to prepare them, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also, please like this video, leave a comment, share this video, and like I said, subscribe to this channel. I'm almost at the points that I am going to. So with this little water, this is what I have achieved and this is what I want. So I will set this aside and show you a video of the wheat seeds I blended. Take a look at this wheat seeds before I blended them. This is what you should do. Now let's start cooking. I'll add some water into my pot and then I'll allow the hot water, no, I'll allow the water boil very, very well. So now that my water is boiling, this is what it looks like. I'll take it off the stove or cooker. Right here is omorogo. That's what we call it in Yoruba language. Some people call it tony stick. I'll be using it to mix in my wheat flour paste into the hot water first. You have to do this if you don't want lumps to be in your wheat um, swallow. You need to take the pot off the fire first. You mix in the paste first and then you return the pot back to the cooker and start the cooking process which i have done now also one thing i'll be doing that may be surprising to you is adding wheat flour with my hands remember i told you that this is pure wheat flour with no anti-caking agent in it so there's a tendency that the wheat flour would be a little bit lumpy so by adding it with my hands what i do is i am lightly breaking off any lumps that i may feel with my fingers before allowing it get into the swallow i'm going to do this until i achieve the texture that i want you know the great thing about wheat flour swallow because of its benefits to the body it helps you feel less bloated it helps you with constipation it's full of fiber it is fast becoming a nigerian traditional food and everyone loves wheat flour everyone loves wheat swallow if you're interested in other nigerian swallows as well go to my channel i have so many videos of other nigerian swallows how to make a bar the two methods you need to make semovita how to make amala how to make ilubo gede how to make two shinkafa i have all those videos on this channel and this is another reason why you should subscribe to this channel because if you're interested in nigerian food cooking videos yes this is where you should be i have gotten the texture that i want now what i would do is i would add a little bit of water the texture you want is a slightly thick texture it has to be thick because at the end after adding water if it is not thick enough your wheat swallow is going to be watery and you don't want that now I'm just simply cleaning my omoro gold. I'll also be scraping down the sides of my pot and then I'll cover it and allow it to cook for about five to six minutes. You know, you allow it to cook longer if you are cooking more, okay? So after six minutes, this is what my wheat swallow looks like. And now is the time to mix it very well again. The result you get after doing this is a fluffy, lovely wheat swallow that tastes amazing it goes so well with all kinds of nigerian soup you can enjoy this wheat swallow with egusi with ogolno with a furry roux 
just name it i hope that i have been able to convince you to try this now it's time to you know scoop out my weight swallow i just added some oil into the water this helps the weight swallow or any swallow at all slide off the spoon easily without making a mess i mean nobody likes to make a mess also let me tell you cooking with this method you would always have a bone spot so after scraping your swallow out of the pot ensure that you soak the pot with water immediately that way you can easily get rid of the burnt part and wash your pot and then your pot goes back to how it used to be clean let me get my bowl and then you'll see me scooping it and then you'll see how fluffy it looks isn't this nice isn't this lovely i know in your mind you're wondering okay what kind of soup would i be enjoying this with i already showed you how i ate this with uh, with swallow i actually ate it with my brother and yes i had to put the soup inside because I was feeling a little bit lazy to have too many, you know, dishes to watch, wash. And my brother and I, we enjoyed it in this lovely, lovely fashion. <laughs> don't mind me. Don't mind me. Anyway, um, have you subscribed to this channel yet? If you are yet to do so, what are you waiting for? Like this video, leave your comment, share this video, and of course, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching my video as always. Remember, good food should be enjoyed always. Till I post my next video. Bye.